Winners of GE's latest additive manufacturing contest, Martin Luterer from EOS, Rob Snogis from Layerwise, and Bernard Tabernig from Plancy took home $50,000 for helping GE find new ways to produce complex parts with refractory metals. For GE, it might have been one of the best investments ever, since the new parts will be used creating better components for its medical imaging division. The 3D printing production quest for high precision and advanced materials contest took off in June 2013, together with another open 3D printing contest or quest for its aerospace division. GE partnered with Nine Sigma, experts in external innovation resources on this project. According to Dennis Resnick, Vice President of Strategic Programs at Nine Sigma, through open innovation, they were able to uncover fresh perspectives from experts in new areas, accelerate the pace of innovations, and transform industries faster. Participants representing research teams from academia, startups, and established businesses from six countries competed in the quest. Each of their scientific skills were necessary to meet GE's steep requirements of the new medical imaging device components. They had to be made from high density, high atomic number metals, which can be difficult to shape while at the same time have complex geometries that had to be rendered at very high precision. To achieve this internally would probably have cost GE millions of dollars in R&D. However, by opening up and gamifying the research, it spent over $150,000 and got it done in a fraction of the time. 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems.